like and subscribe right now, or else this will be in your bed tonight. r slash ask reddit by planet reddit. What's the stupidest reason you got in trouble in school? For using my asthma medication in class. I was told to keep my inhaler in the office, and to use it in there only. I was told it was distracting. Know what else is distracting? The sounds of someone gasping for air and having to be removed from class. What's worse is kids have died because they didn't have immediate access to their inhalers or epipens because they needed to be kept in the office. Idiotic. That's why my grandparents just told me to hide the damn thing in my backpack. Since they found out that the nurse's office in this broke down pedunk behind school was all the way across campus from my classes. Same for my parents. They told me to keep my inhaler with me and just not tell anybody. I had to run the mile during gym outside in very humid weather. Not surprisingly, I had an asthma attack. Probably the only reason I survived it is because I had my inhaler in my pocket. New Jersey tried to kill me. I can never live there because of asthma. But I'm fine anywhere else. Only exception is if I try to walk outside in very cold weather. I'll need an inhaler afterward. Grad school. As in. Full grown adult. One of my patients was a chill guy. We had one of those relaxed relationships. He would fist bump me after treatment was completed. The dean of academic affairs did not like that. Got a 45 minute lecture on doctor patient relationship and how dare I violate that trust with a fist bump. A big part of healing is believing in your healer. A fist bump from my doc would tell me we got this more than any 10 second bedside conversation the old school authoritative doctors sporting a god complex have given. Stick to the fist bump and smile. Bosses professors come and go. Just stick to being nice. If you can stuff a camera down my nose, down past my stomach, we know each other well enough for you to bump my fist. In 1993 the Flaming Lips song She Don't Use Jelly came out. I was in 3rd grade and I really liked that song. And started signing it with my friends during a double handed jump roping session. She don't use Geely or any of Theosophy. She uses Vyasi line. Boom. Written up. 3 day suspension for saying sexually suggestive things. I had no idea that was meant sexually. Worse even. No one would explain why that song was sexually suggestive. It was very confusing. This is funny and sad. Don't be inappropriate. How is it inappropriate? I don't want to explain it. You're too young for this kind of thing. Then you must know. I wasn't intending to be inappropriate. Don't talk back. I'm an adult. Mia. I hate when adults say calling out the holes in their logic talking back. Sorry I put your brain in a pretzel but you gotta get your shit together. Reminds me of me asking my 6th grade teacher what sodomy is because I heard it in Blink 182 is what's my age again. He turned red as hell and told me to look it up. For hugging a crying classmate in the hall. And that one time I typed the word OIS on the calculator in math class. I got in trouble for hugging a male friend in the hallway in middle school. We saw each other in the hall and was like hey, quick hug. It was like one second, in front of a teacher's door, which was open. She calls us into her class to yell at us in front of her class. She said hugging between boys and girls is inappropriate. I asked if it'd be inappropriate if I was hugging a girl and she said no. Then I asked if it'd be inappropriate if I was a lesbian. She yelled at me again. The classmate I was hugging was a girl, and I'm a guy, so that's why I got in trouble. My brother and I got in trouble once because I hugged him before school one day and a teacher said it wasn't appropriate. For fighting. The school a sucker punched me and I didn't retaliate. It was even caught on tape. The zero tolerance policy is one of the stupidest things ever. 100% agree. Almost got a suspension for doing nothing. Then my mom. Absolute legend. Threatened to call the police, claiming the school did nothing to ensure my safety after seeing all my bruises and scrapes from fights. Edit. Grammar. Yay. Good for her. Yep, yeah, up that shit. Hell. It's no surprise bullies get away with borderline murder. I tripped on a loose tile and bumped into a teacher causing her to spill her coffee on herself. I apologized and showed her the tile. She went on for months about how I did it on purpose. Even got the principal and my folks involved. For the rest of the year she told me I couldn't come back to her class unless I apologized for doing it on purpose. Never went back to her class. Though I initially apologized for the incident. 
I never once apologized for doing it on purpose. Akum is. Helm. I honestly hate hearing these stories. I want to hear that someone stood up for the victims and said you are a person with authority over us and you should know better than to act high and mighty. Edit. Don't know if anyone is ucking with me. But thank you all for your replies. Faith in humanity restored. It doesn't happen nearly enough IRL. The name drop gives this so much more power. Correcting a titch's spelling of congratulations. It was a substitute. And it was English literature. Congratulations. You get a suspension. Congloturation. Clearing my throat before reading out loud to the class. She yelled at me and threatened detention because she thought I was faking it for attention but I don't see how. Also more context I was a quiet kid so I wasn't one to create drama to begin with. It just made me not want to talk more than I already didn't want to. Edit. Brothers blew up a lot. Shout all to all my quiet and awkwardly shy homies out there who feel the pain of being reprimanded for the rare times we actually do talk. WTF. Detention for clearing your throat. Even if you fake it, it is still a dumb reason to get detention. Mayo faking for attention even though you were supposed to have everyone's attention. I once broke out in a dry cough and was practically choking. So I started to drink a bottle of water that I got from my bag. The teacher grabbed the bottle off me, threw it into the bin then told me to be quiet because someone was answering a question. Needless to say, I was not happy. I stormed out of that room. I was about 15. Someone made a paper airplane out of scrap paper that had been binned. My name was written on the sheet they used. I got sent out the room and handed a punishment exercise. Ah, yeah. flashback triggered. We each had a notebook in school. Something you would use in all your classes instead of that class's official exercise book. My notebook was full and tattered so I binned it. Apparently, somebody took it out of the bin and wrote many offensive remarks aimed at different teachers. And then handed it into one of the teachers. Just by looked at the handwriting you could tell it wasn't me. Nope. Still got bollocked for that. Edit. Notebooks was effectively a scrapbook for just scribbling down thoughts and ideas. Temporarily throw away stuff. Workbooks were for writing your final work in neatly. At the end of the lesson you would hand in your book to be marked. Who would be stupid enough to write their name on a paper airplane? That's like carving your name and address onto someone you killed. Someone once poked a wasp nest in the school forest. And the whole swarm came out upon the school. The entire school sat detention for an hour. Understandable if you don't know who did it, but that's not the problem. We were sitting detention because the principal's son got stung. As it eventually turned out, it was actually his fault the swarm came down on us. I have cursed his name since the day I found out. There was an unexpected whole school behind and bleak grade school. We were all brought to the gym and sat down. It was then explained that one of us had pooped on the gym stage behind the mats. We know who did it. But we are giving them this opportunity to stand up and apologize. If you don't then we'll have to punish you harder. A. Even to us kids it was obvious they had no fucking clue who did it. B. Ordering a kid to stand up in front of the whole school and apologize for shitting on the stage is not how you get the kid to admit they did it. There were three poop scandals at my very strict Roman Catholic high school. We named them Pooget 1-3. Pooget 1. Someone took a shit on the floor in the boys' toilets. Pooget 2. Same thing. Just a couple of years later. Pooget 3. Someone took a shit under the stairs between the art department and science department. Went unnoticed for a few days. But the stench gave it away. Culprit was never discovered. For Pooget 2, I remember there being an M. Jensa and Bli gathered of all the boys in my year group. We were stood in rows as if we were in the army or some shit. The ex-drill sergeant pay teacher walked between the rows and told us about Pooget 2 and how disgusting it was. They then went on to say that the culprit clearly had some issues and it was the school's duty to give them their catholic help. Of course. None of us had the foggiest idea of who did it. Turns out it wasn't even a guy from my year. I only found this out nearly 4 years after the fact. But it was absolutely hilarious being called into this huge abandonly for such a crazy situation. There's been a Puget scandal every two years and this year is the second anniversary of Puget 3. So I'm anticipating some madman breaking lockdown to initiate Puget 4 as part of the tradition. For saying my school picture sucked. 
I had no idea sucked was considered a bad word until I was put in detention for it. Landmine learning right here. Kind of like a story I heard from my mom. I think it was my grandmother who asked her mother, what's French kissing? To which she was given the reply, don't you ever say that, and she got grounded. That is a good example of how not to teach your children. Asking my mom about things I don't know might get me in trouble, well I just won't ask her stuff then. I'll figure it out some other way. Chasing someone with a paperclip and saying I am a vampire was elementary. This is my favorite one. It makes no sense and is cracking me up so much. I received two weeks of detention. It was also an act alongside two other friends. We got in told on from some dude who wasn't in our business in the first place and thought we were stabbing our victim. Only one out of three of us had a paper clip. There is a really good takeaway to this tough. Always remember one in every three vampires has a paper clip. Spelling test in 7th grade. We wrote down the words as the teacher shouted them out. One of the words was peace. The kid next to me asks, which one? There's two different words. Peace peace. The teacher said, the one on the list you were supposed to study. That's bullshit. I whispered, peace as in piece of pie. She made us both rip up our tests for cheating. Peace as in piece of shit teacher. My dad was furious, and he was usually the obey your teacher. They have their reasons. Type he was like, what if you glanced at the list and already knew how to spell all the words? Are you supposed to commit each word to memory just in case any of them have a homophone and the teacher refuses to clarify? Papa McGee got a point. I had a similar situation with the word tripod. The definition provided was something like anything containing only three legs. So I wrote my vocab sentence my dog's leg fell off and now he is a tripod. It was marked incorrect and my mom was furious. She went to the school with that damn vocab sheet. I know understand that a tripod isn't a living thing but nowhere did it specify that. Ha. Huh. Join our community discord. Link in description. I got in trouble for cheating on one of my math exams. The teacher found a piece of paper in my pencil case. I got sent to the principal's office. When the principal asked me about what I wanted to say in my defense, I simply told him to take a look at the note. It turned out to be a shopping list. I was allowed to retake the exam the following week. My friend got in trouble for this when he was actually writing a list of weird events to happen in something he was into at the time. Can't quite remember what. The teacher demanded to see the note. Then read a list containing items along the lines of Greg set fire to the hospital. And Greg proceeded to shoot Lindsay. And the ghost of Lindsay haunted the rest of the people on the island. Fucking Greg. Can I ask why you had a shopping list in your pencil case? I apparently sighed loudly when a TA who knew she wasn't very popular walked in the room. I was talking to a friend the opposite side of my table. Was this in high school? Well, secondary school in the UK IDK what's going on in the states with years or grades or whatever. I got ISS in school suspension. Basically detention during school hours. For being in a food fight even though I wasn't. They said I was a part of it because I dropped some crumbs from my cupcake onto the floor. Zero tolerance policy baby. This reminds me of the time I slipped and fell into somebody else's puddle of juice. The very mean cafeteria lady gave me a mop and made me clean it up. She wouldn't let me change and didn't care that I got hurt. I was like 5 or 6 too. 5 or 6. Some people shouldn't be child carers. In middle school. Some kids were stomping on caterpillars during recess. I took a ziplock bag from my lunch and put as many caterpillars in it as I could to rescue them by taking them somewhere else. I fast walked to get away fairly quickly without making a scene. A teacher stopped me and accused me of running and shoving. I didn't touch anyone at all. And when she saw the bag, she gave me a look of utter disgust. I got lunch detention for it. I ultimately switched out of that school because the staff had it in for me for some mental health issues and quirks that I later discovered was Asperger's syndrome. Edit. This is my most upvoted comment ever by Miles. Thanks. At least something good came of that awful school. I'll give a bonus. One of the science teachers was caught with Childo on his computer during class. A kid called the cops. Ultimately the district moved him to a different school. 
had serious concentration issues when I was younger. I now know this was likely ad or something similar. Used to get detentions all the time for daydreaming and not finishing work when I was uncontrollably zoning out. Got yelled at all the time for it. And I never understood why everyone was angry at me. I couldn't understand where time was just disappearing to when I zoned out. Never got help for it. Teachers are sometimes a yes. I feel this with every being of my soul. Daydreaming and zoning out was one of the main issues that affected me academically throughout high school. It happened in classes, during tests, it happened everywhere, and it led me, coupled with other things, to repeating a year, and it ends up being so uncontrollable and disperse, it's hard to break the habit. I hope that now you're doing much better and that you are able to get the help you need. Stay strong. I threw a closed pen to my friend who was like 3 feet away from me, and the teacher freaked out. He made a big deal out of it in front of the whole class for a solid 5 minutes, and then emailed my parents. Luckily my mom was able to see my side of things and she said, doesn't that teacher have better thing to do than email me about my child throwing pens? We still laugh about it from time to time. Bro I feel you're right tried to wake my sleeping friend up by gently throwing a pen at his back cause he was called. The teacher lectured me for about one stroke for the class time. I threw an eraser at my friend once, and it bounced off the filing cabinet and made a loud bang. Teacher asked him what he was doing to make me throw something at him. In middle school, the bell to send us home didn't go off on time. We were all standing by the door waiting to leave when all the other classrooms started leaving to go home. The hallways were filled and teachers were telling people goodbye. So my classroom started to leave too. I was one of the first ones out but apparently our teacher caught the end half of the class and made them sit down and tell them everyone who walked out the door because I dismiss you. It's not the bell. So all of us who left like the rest of the school got detention. I dismiss you. Not the bell. Then why the hell does the bell exist? If it decides when you come, it decides when you leave. Right. Is the teacher going to take the detention your next teacher gives you when you're late to their class? Will they be giving you a ride home if you miss the bus? If no, then by IEE. Trying to start a fire. Which led to me getting an hour detention and having to stay for the rest of the lesson in isolation. But why did they think I tried to start a fire? Cause in a science lesson I rubbed two sticks together. Edit. WTF how have I got nearly 1000 upvotes? Damn this is the most I've ever got so thanks. That sounds like a valid reason to get a no. That's a difficult way to start a fire. Unless you had a bow drill the class was safe. And tinder. And a pile of kindling. And larger sticks to progressively build from the coal. First. I did many things to get in trouble legitimately. I went undiagnosed with ADHD inattentive type for a long time. Because I would laser focus on schoolwork and get done quickly. Then get bored and disrupt everyone else. The secretaries in my elementary school office knew me on site when I went back to visit in high school. But there were a couple times that were questionable. Clapping. In 4th grade I learned you can clap louder by having the fingers on one hand go into the palm of the other. I was part of a mini concert for our extremely talented string students. Oh yeah. Hot cross buns. And I was kicked out and sent to the office because I clapped along with everyone else. But a teacher felt I was being disruptive abusing my newfound power. It was decades ago. So I really can't say if I was being a jerk or not. Sneezing. I sneeze several times, and like a duck quacking, I got it from my grandfather who did the same. If those things are hereditary, I can try to hold it in, but then it looks like I'm having a seizure. Our middle school science teacher immediately tried to give me ISS when I sneezed for the first time, and it took the whole class vouching for me before she relented. After that, people would just pause for me to finish, and I'd apologize. Condolences my friend. I feel yeah. I was an ADD riddle child that was never diagnosed. I can't tell you how many times I would awaken from a daydream and have some angry teacher up in my face telling me I was being bad. I'd be like, comma what? And that only worsened my case. Don't play dumb. You're disruptive every single day. Just yesterday you were making animal noises on your way to the bathroom. Um, what? I don't remember that. Well I told you X thing just 2 minutes ago. Comma you did? I didn't. You're staying inside for recess today. Okay, I guess. 
and of course forcing an ADHD child to stay inside is the absolutely worst thing you can do in order to have a child be less disruptive. I was sent to the principal in 6th grade for arguing with my teacher when she insisted that Hitler was a communist. The principal literally did a fasopum, but then pulled himself together and lectured me on being more respectful. What's this teaching you? Right now, kid, nothing. But one day you're going to have a boss that comes out with the stupidest thing you ever did here, and then you'll remember sitting in here. I was drinking tea and my teacher yelled at me to stay home if I'm sick, which I wasn't. You sick bastard. Drinking tea in school. Barbaric. Dude sucker punched me in gym class. I never even got a chance to defend myself or fight back before the teacher stepped in. I got suspended for fighting. Pretty much the same. Except we took licks back then. I protested. But got 3 swats anyway. I was pretty much fired up on teenage injustice because I never even got a punch in. When we stepped out of the principal's office I spun and laid one of the best overhand rights I ever connected on right on the other kid's nose. He never saw it coming. Before anybody could react I said I already paid for that. Call my dad. I ended up finishing the day in the office as my dad and the principal had a long discussion on my behavior. But no licks or expulsion. I counted it as a win. That punk never came back looking for trouble from me again. This reminds me of a story my dad told me growing up. He went to high school in the 60s and getting licks was the norm for punishment. He had this guy that liked to knock with him just because. So this particular day, this guy was smacking my dad in the back of the head with a textbook. After the second time, my dad turned around and told him to knock that shit off. Teacher heard it, out in the hall for 3 swats. Dad comes back in. Guy is grinning and asked him how it felt. Dad, never letting anyone get the last word, said it tickled. Couple of minutes later the guy swatted him again with the book. My dad spun around in his seat and hit the guy with a right hook to the jaw and knocked him out of his seat. But the guy yelled up at the teacher if he saw what just happened. Dad said the teacher looked at the guy, totally deadpan, and told him he didn't see anything but that he should probably get back in his seat. WTF. I didn't tie my shoes the way the PE instructor wanted me to. In 11th grade, sat in the dean's office for an hour before they called my mom whose response I still remember. You're calling me during my work day to ask my son to tie his shoes in a way that a PE teacher feels suitable? Are you fucking kidding me? I played AAA hockey at the time along with varsity lacrosse. PE class was the least of my worries, let alone how my shoes were tied. Safe to say I didn't have to retie my shoes. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for 3 videos a day.